What's going on, people? We are Tottenham TV back here for an announcement video for you guys today. Is breaking news as of an hour ago, as of recording. Spurs have their third signing of the summer. Or should I say our fifth signing of the summer? If you announce Kulusevski and Pedro Porro in that as well. But Manuel Solomon is here. He is announced as a free transfer from Shakhtar Donetsk. And how are you feeling, Sim? Yeah, look, it's a five-year deal, so take him to about when he's like 28 years of age. I think it's a pretty smart piece of business from Tottenham. I think he can play on the left-hand side, on the right-hand side. He's also like coming into a stage of his career where he's maybe starting to improve on a lot of things. He's maybe ready for that, for that step up into top-level European football. We saw last season at Fulham where he did kind of struggle to find a bit of consistency, but he clearly showed that he can play in the, at Premier League level with, it, with his ability, um, his ability to take play on cut inside and be deadly on that right foot as well into finding corners with his left foot and his right foot he was able to score goals um, he was one of the top dribblers when he was on the pitch as well in um, European football I think he was completing nearly four dribbles uh, per game which um, is not to be sniffed at and that's exactly what Postacoglu is going to want from his wingers as well someone who can take a man on who can isolate fullbacks one on one and really um, take them on and create space for other attackers he is still raw in a lot of his Abilities. He's a bit. He's a bit of a kind of head down kind of winger in in terms of he likes to take people on. He's not really a winger who likes to link up the play. Um, he might frustrate Tottenham fans early on with his um, decision making and potentially he can go anonymous at times in games as well when he's not looking for the ball. Um, I also feel like a lot of the time he's more of a ball to feet kind of winger. He likes to get the ball and take people on rather than running in behind and using he's using his pace that way. But he's still 23. He's um, I'm sure Postacoglu is going to want to mould him in the way that he wants to play. And I think when it comes to a free transfer, there's not much to lose here. Albeit, um, I do believe Tottenham have needed a refresh uh, in terms of um, winger positions for a while. So does he represent someone who I truly believe is could possibly take the mantle on from Son or Kulisevsky, uh, not Kulisevsky, more from Sonny, um, a few years down the line where maybe Sonny starts to decline or maybe he already he has started to decline we'll have to wait and see but do we do we really believe do I really be right now Solomon has convinced me that he could be a player who could take that mantle maybe not maybe he still has some convincing to do in that front but he definitely has the ability to be a squad option for us and I definitely think whether it be um, starting some games against lower league opposition or, or early in the cup games or a player who can come on for 20, 30 minutes and really have a go at the fullback, I definitely think he has the ability to do that. So I definitely am excited about the prospect of what Solomon can do in a Tottenham shirt. Yeah, it sounds like you're excited. And I think that um, when you look at it, what he's going to bring to the team is sheer pace, uh, dribbling ability, which Ange Postacoglu loves in his teams. I think, yes, he does need a little work in the final third in his decision making. But Ange Postacoglu has a history of coaching, um, you know, players that maybe haven't reached their potential yet and really get the best out of them. So I'm hoping this can be another one uh, to his repertoire. But let's go and have a look at Twitter and see how it all unfolded. It started off this morning with Fabrizio Romano saying documents signed, contracts sealed, medical done on Monday as expected. Manuel Solomon will be unveiled as a new Tottenham player later today. And then uh, we got a message from Manuel Solomon on Twitter. Let me just find it. Here we go. Saying, although I haven't played for Shakhtar for a while, today is the time to say goodbye. A big thank you to the club, my teammates and the fans. We've made some great memories together. Wishing all the best to Shakhtar and everyone in Ukraine. And then Spurs announced him. Look at that in his Spurs shirt. Lovely to see. Suits him. Really does suit him. Here's another one. Um, that's him lifting up the shirt. Lovely. And let's keep going. Sky Sports then um, presented it. Five-year deal for Manuel Solomon. Here's the one from Tottenham. This is the announcement video. I mean, they're all kind of the same these days. Yeah, I suppose the, the Vicario, Madison and, and, uh, and Solomon announcement videos have all been pretty much the same, kind of like well-edited, like sharp videos, but nothing too uh, creative. Yeah, where's funny. the ones of the Gareth Bale and the Sergio Regulon ones? Those were great Doherty announcement and, videos. Uh, Porro, those were like kind of funny ones, but they've gone a different way this summer, it seems. Yeah. Try to uh, avoid any sort of cringe possible, I guess is uh, the, the remit for Tottenham this summer. I think Solomon himself posted, I think, if you scroll, I, think I might have liked it if you scroll to the top, um, he posted himself about his moves to Tottenham now on his Twitter account. 
Um, did I like it? Let me just find it. It's right at the top, the far at the top one. So on right. the likes? Yeah, on the likes. Sorry, you're not on the likes. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, there you Here go. we go. I'm so delighted and excited to be joined by this fantastic football club. It's truly an honour to be here and I can't wait to get started. Today is to do. And that only isn't just Tottenham's motto. It seems to be Ange Postecoglou's motto as well, which is why I think he's going to be such a great manager. But let's go and have a look at the announcement on the club official website. So here it goes. It goes, we are delighted to announce the signing of Manuel Solomon. The, Israel, the Israeli international has agreed a deal with the club that will run until 2028, sub Subject to international clearance and work permit. Manor, 23, spent his early years at local side Maccabi Petak Tikva, where he made profession, his professional debut at the age of 17 in November 2016. He scored eight goals in 73 appearances for the Israeli outfit, earning himself a move to Shakhtar Donetsk in January 2019. Primarily operating as an inverted left winger, Solomon made 106 appearances for Shakhtar, scoring 22 goals and winning the domestic league title on two occasions, along with the Ukrainian Cup and Ukrainian Super Cup wins. Solomon gained experience in the UEFA Champions League whilst at Shakhtar, scoring his first goal in the group stages against Atalanta in October 2019, a strike that made him the youngest Israeli to score in the competition. The winger also scored a de de decisive third as Shakhtar recorded a famous 3-2 victory away to Real Madrid in October 2020. And here's an, uh, we'll just scroll through these pictures quickly, him signing his contract, holding up the shirt. And then it goes on to say that ahead of the 22-23 Premier League season, Solomon joined newly promoted Fulham on loan and scored his first goal for the West London side in a 2 0 win over Nottingham Forest in February 2023. The goals quickly continued as he netted in the following three consecutive Premier League games, along with an FA Cup goal against Leeds United in the middle, a run which saw him nominated for Premier Player of the Month award for February. Solomon ended last season with five goals and 24 appearances for the Cottagers. On the international side, Manor has already connected 35 senior caps for Israel, scoring seven goals. He scored his first in Israel's 1-0 win over Scotland in the UEFA Nations League in November 2020. So that is the announcement from Tottenham on Manor Solomon. He's here. He's beautiful. It's time to get excited. Spurs have their third or fifth. Is it third or fifth? But what would you go for? Third fifth. or fifth signing? Fifth signing. <laughs> fifth signing of the summer. And... Um, yeah, so keep your eyes peeled. We've got a Tottenham update coming very soon, which uh, talks about some incomings and outgoings. So we're expecting uh, maybe one more before the tour this week. Yeah, look, who knows? The, there's uh, many murmurings going on what's going to happen. But I think, look, we've done our business fairly early and I think we've really targeted um, kind of what we needed in the squad to upgrade, apart from obviously centre-back, which hopefully will be um, um, done this week. Uh, look, Solomon is a free transfer, so I do think... There is a bit, in a way, a bit of pressure on maybe Levy for this for this transfer to work out because I think we've needed a winger to compete with um, Son for for a couple of years now. And if if we've decided to go just on a free transfer and he ends up not being what we needed, then it is going to come under criticism. I think from a lot of se section of the fan base for Levy again, kind of going for a cheap deal rather than a deal that would really benefit us. But I do understand the upside of this deal, not only just because of um, the potential quality of the player, his age, his qualities, um, also um, having that connection, him him being Jewish, him being Israeli, having that connection with Tottenham as well, I think is a smart thing to do. So I hope it does work out. I'm excited to see how he does. But the, given the fact he is just a free transfer for a position which um, was, was, I think, needed, he will come under criticism if it doesn't work out. Yeah. Uh, but I think the fans should um, give him time, the time that he does need to settle in, because it's no easy feat coming in and battling Sonny for that left wing spot, you know, as Richarlison saw last season, battling Sonny and Kane for both those spots. So I think minutes might be hard to come by, uh, definitely in the early stages, but he needs to grab his chance when he gets them. Uh, but let's go quickly look at his FB ref before we uh, we move on. And he is quite interesting, you know, 96 percentile for pass completion, 84.5%. Only in the 30th percentile for passes attempted. Uh, 94th percentile for successful take-ons, which is interesting. So, you know, a very tricky customer to deal with. 99th percentile for tackles. 82nd percentile for interceptions. 74th percent, uh, percentile for blocks. So, uh, seems to be a hard worker in the defensive uh, metrics. Yeah. Obviously, this is based on not that many minutes of Fulham last season. Um, 572. But, yeah, which is not a lot. 
Yeah. Um, so a lot of it was coming off the bench. Um, he went. In fact, I think two of his four, five goals last season were um, off the bench as well. And as well, if you can see by this stat, he clearly overperformed like his own where what he should be. Um, a lot of his goals obviously came from the edge. A couple of his goals came from the edge of the box, curling into the far corner. Which one of one like people like Sonny consistently overperform their xG, but it's whether Solomon has that quality to consistently do it rather than just do it in spurts, which is going to be um, where he makes or where he makes or breaks um, his Tottenham career because. He needs to be getting in more goal-scoring positions. He needs to be looking more dangerous, not just relying on scoring wonder goals all the time. And as much as Sonny does a lot of those wonder goals, he also consistently gets in those one-on-one -on -one positions and better goal-scoring positions, which um, let him rack up the goals that he has been able to do. So Solomon has to be able to do that as well. His ability to set up chances for um, his teammates at the moment doesn't seem to be a partic particular strong point. He's clearly good at dribbling, but when it comes to getting crossed in the box, creating chances, that's something he definitely has to work on. So I think he's clearly got ability and quality, but whether he can marry that with good positioning and good um, game kind of understanding, that's definitely something he has to work on. And if he can marry those two, I think we've got a really good player. But otherwise he might turn into one of those frustrating players with a lot of quality. In terms of squad number, what are we thinking uh, the squad number he will take? At the moment, you've got number eight, which is free, but I do envisage James Madison taking that spot. you got uh, you got two free, so maybe Porro to goes and takes that two and the 23 becomes available. Maybe he takes 23. Uh, Jaffet Tanganga being 25, Aaron Lennon's old number. Um, he could potentially take that number. Where, where do you see him fitting in? Um, I, I guess depends 19 on, Ryan um, Sessignon depends on, could depend on Lo Celso's future could take the 18 could pretend on Hill's future could take number 11 maybe um, 20 maybe 27 16. is that free 27 Six. is free 16 I reckon uh, I reckon he takes the number um, uh, I reckon he takes what's it called the number um, 18 off Lo Celso you reckon mm. I've got a feeling it's I, I, I agree I think it's either 18 or 14 because Perisic is most likely out the door as well. And 14 is obviously a famous number in the Spurs uh, for a left winger as well. And I think it'll be a nice nod uh, to maybe a, a tricky customer in David Ginola to give it to Manuel Solomon. Mm. I think I think the fans will take to him quickly, but it's whether he can um, marry his hard, hard work ethic with just um, a bit more quality in terms of in-game rather than just like his ability to link up with teammates, create chances, stuff like that. That definitely needs to improve. But if he can do that... This could be a really smart signing. 22, Robbie Keane's original number. 22, of, yeah, I'll take it. I think you'll take that. Um, but anyway, we'll wait and see what happens uh, with the squad numbers. Uh, but that is your announcement video for Manuel Solomon. He is a Spurs player. Official has been announced by the club today. So let us know your thoughts in the comment section below regarding the signing of Manuel Solomon. Hopefully more to come. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Like, subscribe and comment. And as always, come, come on, you Spurs. Spurs.